Hey my friends, I had finally time to have a look at the one vase image to video model. I have as usual chosen the same cat in the bar and the same prompt, well, nearly. The goal is still, I want to compare the models. How does it work? You drag in an image, adjust the prompt, press Q, and then you should get a result. In case you get red nodes, have a look at the manager here. Here you can install the missing bits, install missing custom nodes, and in case there is something missing in the workflow, then you will get items here, tick them, install them, and you are good to go. The download location for the models, um, this time I didn't have placed my own personal nodes because the original workflow from which I have grabbed this one here, already supports all the download links and where the models belongs to. Good job, please keep this up. My hardware is a 4060 XT with a 5800X3D and 32GB system RAM. You need minimum 12GB VRAM for this workflow. And especially one is RAM and very VRAM hungry I was not able to run the 720p resolution. Note that I have not invented this workflow. ComfyUI comes already with this workflow. All I did then was the usual changes. Let's have a look at the original here. This is the original. You can find it here in the workflows, browse templates, video, one base reference to video. This is this workflow here. As you can see, here, has, uh, here is the markdown node again. As you can also see, I need to scroll around. And what I heavily disliked was to have nodes here that are disabled. When they are disabled, then they are not needed for this special workflow. And we have a safe video instead of the, come on, here we are, video combine node. Video combine node also outputs an image that contains the workflow much better. Which leads me to the changes that I did here. One of the changes is the video combine here. I have added the frame interpolation and arranged it in general a bit better. Um, the video size, I think I have also changed the video size here somehow. Um, ah, yeah, I introduced the here we are. Uh, load image. There is no way um, to adjust the size in this load image node. And so I have added a load and resize image node instead. And so I just need to adjust the video size here. The image gets resized to this target value and then everything works. What I also did was to split the one ways 1.3 support model as a single workflow and one, the 14b workflow as a single workflow. Oh, one, one, this one, yeah. And in the original workflow, everything is mixed together. And you can see, I need to scroll out and everything vanishes. I cannot work this way. I need to scroll uh, to zoom in and then I need to Go left and right and left and right. No, this is not what I, how I want to work. This here is everything in view. See what I mean? And now I can compare the models with image to video and can decide which model suits me best. The balance between quality and speed. Um, the original van, I had tested it in the past and it was simply too slow for my needs. And in this regards, we have some very good news here. This Corsuit VM LoRa here, Corsuit, this LoRa here does a miracle at VAN with VAN base. When we turn off this LoRa bypass and run VAN base without the LoRa and adjust the settings here, you need to adjust them. But we come to this at a later point. Then we have over an hour of generation time with um, the LoRa on. We are down to 10 minutes. That's already quite a statement. And when they use the smaller 1.3b model, this is this workflow here, 
1.3b. Then we are down to three minutes. Well, I cannot really recommend the smallest version. It is so far from the initial image that I got reminded at animate diff here. Just let me show you what I mean. This is the result with 1.3b. And you can also see in the output folder, um, this is the starting image. Running it without the LoRa has already a completely different start image. Only the 14b version keeps the initial image. Here, this one keeps the initial image. And the 14b model here, completely different. Here, a glass, the bottles in the background are moving. The bar is a bit different in general. Yeah, but the cat drinks nicely. I love the power. So in general, only the 14B model with the CrossFit Laura did a good job. It becomes a bit blurry at the end. Let me show what I mean. That's the wrong video, thank you. Here we are. Um, here it becomes completely blurry. Here at the paw and here at the fur. But in general, no bad result. Well, it has the typical one noise here, the noise look. Let's have a short look at the workflow. The original workflow did, as told, already a good job with having here everything explained with links to download and where the models belong to. So I didn't add this information to my workflows. It is already there. The loader group should also be clear. That's all the model files that you need to run one. We have the diffusion model, the clip model, the cause with LoRa for speeding up everything and the VAE file. The nodes that are green are the ones that you might want to adjust here. Here you set up the video size. Here you load the image. Um, here you adjust the length. The prompting area, here you type in what movement you want, what you want to happen in the image. The cat grabs the beer and drinks it. This is what happened in my videos. Sampling and decoding, the sampling ST3 node, um, it claims to adjust the coherence of the video. I'll leave it at the default values. Then there is the one base to video node. This is the heart of the one video. Here you adjust the length of the video, as told, or batch rendering. The strength I would keep at 1, at the default. Trim video latent is done automatically by the one voice to video node. This is here the output. It claims to improve the video quality. Um, note that one works with 16 frames per second. So for every second that you want to add, add 16 frames plus 1. But this node adds the 1 automatically. So when you type in 80, then it jumps to 81. This is fine. Let's come again to the case sampler because we have a node here. And when the Cosmit LoRa is on, then you only need 2 to 4 steps and a config value of 1. And this is what we have. We have 4 steps and a config value of 1. And when you want to turn off, the course with LoRa for whatever reason, then you need to config value of 6 and the steps 20 and higher. The frame interpolation node should also be clear. This is one of the things that I am missing here in the default workflow uh, because 16 frames simply stutters a bit. It is simply not enough frames. Um, the eye starts to see uh, fluid movement around 24 frames per second. So we add a frame interpolation and go to 32 frames per second. And the frame interpolation node adds the missing frames in between. And that was it already. We talked already about the result. Best version here is 14p with Core Suite LoRa on and a 480p resolution. As told, my graphics card was too weak for the 720p resolution, so I cannot test it. I have uploaded the two workflows at my page. You can download it from there. Have fun!